name is Erica Gamet, and for today's five minute quickie video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop cap character style and build that into your paragraph style. If you haven't yet checked out my character versus paragraph style video, you might want to check that out and see the differences between the two types of styles when you use each one and also how I go about building those. So once you've got that under control and you understand the difference between character and paragraph styles, you're ready to create a drop cap character style. All right, so the first thing I want to do is create a character style. So I'm going to open up my character style panel. I'm also going to open up my paragraph style panel and have that ready to go as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a character style. I'm going to option or alt click on the new style icon at the bottom of the character style panel. And I'm going to call that, we're just going to call this drop cap. So we're creating our drop cap character style. And the only things I'm going to define in this as the font family, because that's going to be the exception to the rule. I'm going to be Zapfino. And I also want it to be a different color. So I'm just going to grab, we'll just grab the orange color from there. And we'll double check that it's Zapfino regular and it's the orange color. So I'm going to say, OK, and that is our drop cap character style. Now we want to put that into a paragraph style. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a character or paragraph style called first paragraph. And this will be the first paragraph that we use in every new chapter of our book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in this first paragraph here, and I'm going to go down to my paragraph style panel and click Option or Alt and open that up. And we're going to go ahead and call this first paragraph, or first para, we'll call it. And I want to nest that character style that we just created inside here. So what I want to do is apply the style to the selection. I want to make sure my preview is turned on so I can see what's happening. So this first paragraph will be styled with this drop cap we've just created. So I'm going to go down here to drop caps and nested styles. And I'm going to go up here to the drop cap section and I'm going to tell it how many lines I want that drop cap to be. And I'm going to just scroll up until I hit three. I want it to be three lines deep. And I want it to be just the first character in that, um, in the paragraph. And then here's where I choose my character style. Now you can't actually create one right here, um, but there's a bug that sometimes doesn't actually let it show up. So I tend to create them separately like we just did, and then it's there available for me in this menu. So I'll say drop cap, and now we can see that we have our drop cap set up here. Now there's one more thing that I want to do is I also want to make the first line of this paragraph be in small caps. So I'm going to say okay to that, and I'm going to come out and create one new uh, character style. And I want to make sure nothing's selected when I do my character styles. I'm going to option or alt click, and we're going to call this small caps. And I'm going to come down to basic character formatting and down to case until it's small caps. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'm going to go back into that first paragraph. I'm going to jump in here and edit that. Go back to the drop caps and nested style section. But instead of being at the top, I'm going to come down to the bottom where it says nested line styles. And this is where I can assign a nested character style to the first one or two or three or whatever number of lines in a paragraph. So I'm going to say new line style. I'm going to say I want it to be small caps for the first one line. And when I click over in this gray area, I can actually see that that changes. So the first line in that paragraph is now in small caps. And why the line style is cool is because as that line length changes, it automatically changes what is in small caps. So it automatically takes the first line and puts that in small caps and everything else is normal. So that's how to embed or to nest a character style, a drop cap character style, and also a line style into our paragraph style.